Hi everybody and welcome to Guess the Gameplay Winner. You see, I'm live streaming quite a lot and I acquire a bunch of games and sometimes even a bundle of games from the same kind of pod. And I edit these videos and I upload these videos and normal and such. And sometimes I have two short gameplays from the same pod that I upload together in one video. But sometimes I end up with these games that I end on turn two that I can't individually upload because they're just too short and a little bit boring. And I can't use them in other videos because the bundle of those videos don't really function that well either with those games. But then I realized, well, I could grab a bunch of these various turn two game wins from various commander pods and just make them into one battle video like this one. Normally I delete these videos because I normally can't use them, but they do sometimes showcase some really cool fun gameplay, and they should be showcased anyway, and they truly bring the essence of true CDH winning fast. And they might be able to bring you some inspiration on how some fringe tech can win really fast. So I would love to hear what you think, if this is entertaining or fun in any form of way. Please leave your feedback and I might make more videos with Guess the Gameplay Winner. Let's hit it! Game 1! Lands, Chroma, you're removing this guardianship. Ooh, his hand has to be really good. That's scary. Get the nuts. Get probe to life. I want to look at... I want to see Mon's hand. Yeah, sure. I'm looking away. Here's my hand. This is what I have in it. Do you recognize okay. these cards? Oh, uh, yeah, I see them. And then I'll draw the card of Get Pro, and then I'll tap two to play Field Pursuit, draw off Field Pursuit, and then that'll be turn. I'll draw for turn. I will start by playing a Pluta Delta. I'll play a Mana Crypt, tap Mana Crypt, floating one, play a Mana Vault, play a Mox <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Top it off as a fish. And then cast Rograk, and then pass. All right, let's see if I can top that. Gotta be hard. Don't don't top that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty hard. Can't, can't do it. Okay, uh, here's an Arid Mesa. Crack that, losing one life. Uh, what color do we want? We want uh, Taiga this. I'm going to tap that Taiga or this here carpet of flowers yep and i'm going to move to my second main I'm getting one purple man off my carpet man carpet of flowers i'm going to use that mana or a mana vault yep tap three use two of it have one floating cast simic signet okay i'm going to cast rock rag i want to tap two and cast ice crown <laughs> Yeah, I'm passing. Yeah, yeah, I pass here. I'm gonna imprint impulse. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna shift the turn. I'm gonna take my turn. You guys had some really amazing openings, but I'm gonna play a marsh flats and find an underground sea and and then just uh, triumph over end one with a turn one fish. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I oh my god if i could have been like the starting player of this game i mean just Ugh. imagine yeah. i passed turn here go for it i'm gonna try class this i'll respond i'm gonna crack my polluted delta go get a volcanic island and cast the mystical tutor okay but I'm just putting Reality Scramble on top of my deck, so you're good. And then I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack F1 for one fit with it. I take it. Pass oh, done. Cool. I'll go to my turn. Pay one, two, three, four. Cast Reality Scramble targeting Rock Rack. I've got a response. Oh, I've got I've got priority first. Ethan, you are a fool. I don't. <laughs> why would you Reality Shift your own land? Yeah, I'll just gamble your own lands. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, because I'm because I packed that. Oh no! Oh, wait, folks. I have drawn two cards and I pass on everything. Yeah, are they gonna? Can I draw? Or actually, no. I will pay for the study here. I'm gonna float two cards. I'm also I'm also not paying for mine. So packed on deflecting. I think we will let the pact resolve and then respond to deflecting and to respond to the re scramble. If you guys have responses, that is. I can respond, but I'll wait. I'm gonna gush. Or two. Yep. Uh, I didn't draw. I didn't draw anything out of all my counter spells. No. Awesome. So reality scramble resolved. Yeah. Mons have any? No, I don't. Darn. All right. Proceed. I have this, but I don't have the mana for it. This one I have to 
two drawing effects out, and I have to eventually yeah. get rid of those. Otherwise, you guys draw through your deck. So I need to see what I can do to do this. I think you guys can't find your, your Tyrant here. You don't need to. I trust that you... Oh, there's three. And I'm pretty sure Tide Spout will be on the bottom of my deck. There he is. Imagine Tide Sprout Giant just, like, stomping on Fib with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, stepping on him. I'm going to play a Stomping Ground as a, as my land, shocking myself. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to cast Rograk. Trigger, I'd like to bounce my Mox Opal. Uh, I will not pay for Rhystic Study this uh, on this one. I will play Mox Opal, bouncing Rograk, not paying for the fish or the study I, I will i will then pay two and i will cast thrasios that will bounce the wrist uh the mystic remora mystic remora goes back to my hand i will then play rograk i will use that to bounce the mana crypt there's a rhystic study still here though. yeah yeah you get to draw you're gonna have i think another draw after that and then you'll probably be done i'm gonna play the mana crypt bouncing in the mana vault you can draw off that one yep I'm going to tap here, the Mana Crypt, and play the Mana Vault, bouncing the Mana Crypt, paying the one for the study. Okay, in response to the Mana Vault, I'm going to pay two life. Or am I getting Mental Misstep? Mental Misstep. Yep, uh, Mana Crypt will bounce my hand still. I'll play Mana Crypt, bouncing the Mox Opal. You can draw off that one. I'll float two mana, cast Mox Opal, paying one for that. I would like to make infinite mana, paying for the Rhystic each time. Infinite of every color and colorless. Yeah. Can you do that? I can because yeah, I can. play you can. Yeah, I play the crypt, pay the one. So the crypt will always pay, so I'll just make infinite colored mana then. So yep, there we go. Yeah. Oh well that that will do it anyway. <laughs> Once I have infinite mana, uh I explained it last game. It I'll use brain freeze to get rid of all your guys' libraries. So then you use Wheel of Fortune. Once all the cards are back in my deck, you guys don't have any decks left, and I have wi uh, Wheel of Fortune in my hand, I use that to go ahead and wheel you guys and make you draw out. My brain will melt when my deck is gone. Ugh. I don't know exactly how you die when your deck is gone, but I think you just brains become a vegetable, I guess. You become brain dead, yeah. Something yeah, like that. I like that thought. My brain is melting. That was clean and fast. Let's proceed to game number two. I'm gonna draw for turn. Let's go Scrubland, Mana Crypt, Lotus Petal. Oh, wow. And Talisman of Indulgence. <laughs> Black, white, it green. Break. Timna, turn one. Yes. Very nice. I would like uh -huh. it. Uh, pass turn after Timna. Right, draw for turn. We're going to play a Seed of Synod for land for turn. The artifact land. A Mana Crypt uh -huh. and a Mox Opal. Um, oh, hey, look, your Mox Opal is active. We did it. Yep. Yeah, works out well. Let's pay three for Malcolm and two mana uh, for a Reckless Fire Weaver. And that's my turn. <laughs> not not oh, a bad opening hand, right. eh? Draw. Oh. Well. No, no. You're... I feel a little self conscious. Uh, Bojuka Bog targeting myself because it doesn't matter, and I'll pass. <laughs> there is a reason I did that. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I top decked the Seed of Bernard, so that that was sweet. Nice. I will play a, a Gemstone Caverns, because that's the only land I have. <laughs> a Mana Vault. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And then a Chrono with an Aven under it. And then four mana for a Smothering Hive. Oh yeah, oh, I can see why this. <sighs> yeah, that's a turn one Smothering. It is. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> But I'm gonna draw cards uh, here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to pass the turn with I'm a big smile. Take my turn and oh, there's a trigger. I know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> cards are good. I want cards. I want to unload. Ah, you can have a treasure. Sorry, guys. Thank for the first treasure. First of many. Yes. I'm gonna play this uh, war verdant catacomb. Now where did I put my treasure? Oh. I'm gonna sacrifice this verdant catacomb to cost Chrom. I'm gonna Thanks find. More treasure. I'm gonna find an underground sea. If Chrom is good, I wanna go to combat. Yes. Mm Chrom -hmm. is coming at uh, you, Dan, and Tumna is going at Emil. Uh, no blocks for me. All right. I will net plus minus two on the Timna and draw two cards, and I can't pay, so you get two treasures. Three and I, treasures. I pass the turn. All right, let's see what I can do here. Uh, Crypt trigger. Odds is out. Five. Uh, I will also take three. Draw for turn. Uh, I'm not going to pay. Yeah. Uh, ca cast a Kedis. Uh, move to combat. Uh, Malcolm at Keith. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to make three treasures. Everybody two. 
Well, I hope you like treasures, because either I win this turn or you win this turn. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pay one and play a Curiosity on the Firebrand Archer. Uh, I have a, a trigger for my Chrome here. Yeah, got it. Uh, I draw a card and you make a treasure. Thanks. That's all I, I, I pass on this. There is a Firebrand Archer trigger on the stack right now. So if that's good, everybody can take one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to play a Jeweled Lotus and ping everyone for one and draw three cards. You can get your treasures, my friend. Is that good? All right, let's see what happens. Mana Crypt for two colorless and one treasure for a blue and attempt to cast an Arcane Adaptation. Pinging everyone for one, drawing three. Ooh, we're dying. Have your treasures. Wait, this is lethal right now? No, it doesn't go infinite. It just gives me a ton of value. He has to keep casting uh, artifacts. I have to keep casting non, non creature spells with Firebrand Archer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't go infinite, unfortunately. What I will do is is, I don't know, uh, pay one and attempt cast a gamble, pinging everybody for one, drawing three cards and making three treasures. There's no way you will lose this. I don't think so, no. <laughs> Keith, fun mm. game, right? <laughs> Ray, <laughs> <you> <laughs> yeah, I had a pretty solid starting hand. I was like, ah, I'll just have a bad turn one. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I will add three treasures here, and by the way. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> Um, what am I looking for here? Uh, I am going to grab this mystery. Does somebody want to roll a dice or something? Start at random. I can't. I think we should let Keith have the honors. So he gets to do something. One, two, instead. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. You can roll a two d six until you get a number below. Uh, wait, a say a number. Or have a d ten. Oh. Or you can just say a number. You can't. D10 works we can't or roll two d six because then the average is gonna be seven. Oh right, true. And you can't hit a one either. Uh, nine. This one right here. Act of negation. He can't protect his win now, guys. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Act of negation uh, is like good for him right now because he can cast it on his own spells too. Just trigger. trigger your Bajuga bog so you can. Uh, a one lightning bolt Timna. I'm going to make three treasures and draw three cards. Timna is dead. Um, wow, I'm very close to fizzling. How is that possible? Yeah, uh, let's pay three mana and cast Ophidian Eye, targeting Firebrand Archer. <laughs> you can't fizz it twice wow. now. And, uh, yeah, so Firebrand Archer is going to make three treasures, draw me three cards, Ophidian Eye is going to enter, uh, pay two life for a Git Probe, looking at, uh, let's do Mons. No, you should look you at the show. small drink tight player. Right, sure, let's do a meal. <laughs> what? I only have... I only have <laughs> roughly 30 mana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God I uh, chose this turn size, to go off. I, I really should have uh, uh, exiled something else for Avon Mind, mind Sensor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that silence would have killed me. <clears throat> All right, yeah, uh, but let's I, keep going. I couldn't pay for it. Two mana for a Mind Stone. I'm going to take one. I'm going to make three treasures and draw three cards. Draw six. Ooh, better. Guys, I think okay. we're dying. I think I have it at this point. Um, I'm going to pay three mana and attempt to cast an Intuition. <laughs> Uh, everybody take one. This is where I wanted my even mind sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna draw six cards. Six. Okay. Hang on, I need more dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is intuition good to resolve? Oh uh, yeah. All right. I am going to find a Reckless Fire Weaver, Underworld Breach, and Lintorn Book. And uh, if you Keith, get, you, can you let Lintorn, you can just pass to your end step and we die, right? Because your hand size is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it matters. He has enough mana. If we give him Breach, he just wins. If we give him Reckless Fire Weaver, I think Reckless Fire Weaver is the right choice. Yeah. Yeah, take the Fire Weaver. Give him, give him the Fire Weaver, but it's it's over anyway. Ooh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I'm totally fine with saying that he wins this game because he yeah. very clearly <laughs> has yeah it's <laughs> gonna take it's gonna take a little bit happens, oh no it's not gonna take a little bit so before mm -hmm. anyway so uh, it happens i will cast my wrath because that counts as a turn one <laughs> wrath, doesn't it it does it counts as a turn one commander <laughs> um right i'm gonna play so I will reckless fire to weaver. Use my treasures. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Reckless Fireweaver, and yep. uh, if that's good, I'm going to attempt cast a Mana Vault and counter it with a Prohibit, and uh, present an infinite loop oh, of Reckless Fireweaver. It, it doesn't matter, I just needed to get one treasure to enter the battlefield for Reckless to go infinite, because it's currently a pirate because of Arcane Adam. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Good game, guys. Nice one. I hope you've been guessing right. Here's your last chance, game number three.
Valkyrie into soldering into a Nihil spell bomb and pass the turn. Oh boy, draw for turn. We're going to play a Marsh Flats and I will pass the turn. Draw Windswept Thief pass. I'll play a Luxury Suite. I'll cast a Mana Crypt. I'll cast a Fellwar Stun. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Cast a Mox Opal. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, I will respond to the cast of Mox Opal. Sure. Because I want to play around Opposition Agent. We're going to crack my Marsh Flats for a Savannah and cast an Enlightened Tutor. Oh, this is a turn to CC still. Yeah, I pass. I can copy this. I'll fetch as well. Also cast an Enlightened Tutor? No, not really. I'll find a... Yeah, I'll find a Rubland and cast a Vamp Tutor. Sure. The card I'm going to Enlightened Tutor to the top is a Mana Crypt. Reasonable. What are you finding, Pontus? You'll see. All right. <laughs> I don't gotta tell you nothing. <laughs> I have no further responses to the Mox Opal. Yeah, me neither. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I'll take that. Here you go. Okay. I will tap one, two, and cast a Silver Mine. Nice. Both mana and card draw, all at once. Pass after that. I'll take my turn. Yay! Uh, here is Bloodstained Mire. So I want to cast Magda using this. And then I want to sacrifice this thing for a bad land and cast Monkey! Monkey! The Ma Magda and the Monkey both games. Yes. Jeez. Yeah. I, I like wish it. I had Monkey in the opening hand, but I didn't. After I have my Monkey, I'm passing the turn. I'm going to draw this card. I'm going to play a Verdant Cat go. I will cast a mana crypt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to crack my Verdant, going to 38. We're going to find a snow-covered forest, because I decided that I wanted my, man my mana base to be singleton in case I ever copy a Tainted Pact somehow. <laughs> you know, I have a tendency <laughs> of always building mana bases capable of playing Tainted Pact, even though I'm not on black. So, yep. I know exactly what so you're I've talking got about. A, I've got a singleton mana base, even yeah, though I can't it's cast a, Tainted it's Pact. It's a very strange habit. <laughs> The true EDH experience. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to cast to say. No tricks, yep. no response. You got her. No response here. After that, I am going to pass my turn. Okay, on tap. Draw. Volcanic Island. Land for turn. Oxide. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's a big Zoxide. I can good. use it by one, but you're already gaining so much, so... There's no one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in total? If you sack, right? One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven if you don't sack. No, it's... Yeah, it's seven if I don't suck. The difference between seven and six is so little, so you get seven. Oh, you have four. I forgot about the Sylvan Library. I think, Mons, maybe you do sacrifice in case he has a uh, Fear into the Abyss, because if he does have Fear into the Abyss, you get to ca he gets to cast it for free off of Dockside alone, but cracking yeah. the Nile spell bomb forces him to have at least one more mana, which means he needs some sort of ritual because he's already played his land for turn. I know, but you're, yeah, you're right, but I think I want to keep it anyway. That's fair. Okay. I'm gambling on that he doesn't have two mana image. Now it doesn't matter. <laughs> now okay, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. I'll tap this for red. That's the power blast. Nice. Sure. It, it felt scary. I was scary. It's already sure. it already is because <laughs> it was it was scary you mama yeah it's still scary the impact hmm. uh response. yeah no response yeah it's okay oh, wow we're looking for value here he's looking I for some specifically or something i think he's going for like what is it? probably oracle probably oracle combo maybe does he already have consultation in hand that'd be my guess or or oracle maybe he passed the monkey that's the monkey. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have Oracle in his hand because if he had Oracle in his hand, he just remove his deck immediately. Yeah, yeah. So he's got to have. You don't know me. For Oracle. I know you. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's looking for Oracle because he has the consultation in hand. Oracle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. No yep. Response. Same. Need to be. <laughs> EG. Wow. No response. Wow. Yeah. No tricks. Oof. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. Good mm. job you like this little kind of a video style but if you don't leave a thumbs down if you liked it leave a thumbs up and i would appreciate some feedback if this fast paced transition from game to game worked out thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video if you like what i do and you want to support me feel free to share my videos or even checking out my patreon page also purchasing cards from the tcg players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.